Hello everyone and welcome to another track guide video and today we got Yamagiva plus Miyabi in reverse version in group 4 and for this track guide video I decided to go with the Satenta but you can probably go with the Renault Megane Trophy I think it's a pretty good car you can try the Ferrari 458 Italia and just a bunch of other cars I think this track is all around her so you can pretty much choose whatever you like as long as it's good on tire wear and just keep in mind you gotta do a stop here so if you're in the race, if you're doing a race uh, later on, you just have to do a one stop here. You don't have to change the tires, they are not mandatory, but you have to stop once, at least once. But I think one time is probably the best. So here, okay, that's pretty much it. And yeah, let's get into the track ad video. And as usual, first things first, just try to carry as much speed as you possibly can onto the straight. And I gotta say, you gotta pretty much trail break all the way into the corners with this car. With other cars, it's a little bit different, but with this car, I'll show you what I mean. So first breaking point in between the 100 and the 50 meter sign, and you can see how much am I using of the trail break. And so basically, I'm sliding all the way into the corner, and then when you're getting out of it, you just have to rev up the car and use the most as you can. So as you can see, I'm pretty much using all of the curb possible, and also here, I'm climbing onto the curb looking at the 50 meter sign but just have a look at my brake they don't go more to more I would say more than 50% so 50% is kind of an optimum and try to cut it but don't try to cut it too much otherwise you will get a penalty here and upshift into four gear if you're using uh, this car if you're using some other car I think it would be a little bit different so here again 50 meter sign straight line braking and almost all I would say almost immediately on the way in as I said before uh, just try to carry that speed and carry that sliding so basically sliding all around the place and when you reach about 50% of that curb I think it's safe to say you can probably start putting the power down so if you're early on the power if you just put it push it to 100% like from 0 to 100 then the car really gets a little bit more extra rotation so here I'm climbing onto the curb and as soon as I touch the curb I start putting the brakes down just don't try to turn in and brake at the same time the car will understeer and you don't want that it might seem like you're using like you're losing time but you're not losing time uh, you're actually gaining a bit of time on the on the way out on the on the entry you might not be quite there yet but you will see a big difference on the way out because the car will not understeer and you will have a better turning ability out of the turn so here i'm using Usually the curb as a reference for turning in. I'm turning in right about here, upshifting into fifth gear, and as you can see here, just a little tap on the brakes, nothing more than that. Uh, try to hold this line. It's actually this white line that I usually try to be very close to or actually on it. And when I reach the tree, I just put the power down. Ideally, you would be on the inside of that curb, but I think I missed it a little bit, so I had to, of course, had to lift and last. A bit of time here so again Gran Turismo sign turning in inside of the curb once again you're almost straightening the car up and again I missed it so you want to be on the inside and then again on the inside of the other turn and again uh, this is the curb the beginning of the curb this as usual you break here so breaking hard breaking almost in the street line and then kind of sliding all the way in and be very very early on the power as you can see there are literally not even a half a second in between uh, the braking and the throttle input so very very um, very very important to be on the power quickly i'm using the marshal there on the left as my reference point as you can see no braking just coasting and then when kind of this astro just in front of you changes color i usually start putting the power down here i was a little bit in front here so this was like two i would say two tenths better than my previous lap time but just the last corner really got me in this uh, this attempt so i just decided to put this one out so 50 meter sign once again this is where you start to turn not break and just as soon as you get very very close to the curb you put in like maybe i would say 10 10 to 15 percent of the braking so you can catch the inside of that curb and then full on full power out and as you can see i was even further up the road even better lap time but again, the last corner really got me. So here, I'm looking at the marshals right there. This is the point where I usually start to turn in. Inside of the curb, this is very important. Inside, a little lift right about here before the curb. So you can catch the inside and then full 
on the way out if you can manage to get to the inside of the other curb which is quite important here because you'll get a lot of time uh, out of those uh, out of the sections especially the fast sections here so 50 meter sign you can see i'm putting a little bit more brake in that i probably should have so ideally you should be about 50 percent in and then letting the car coast for the majority of this corner and then early on the way out but as you can see i was really struggling to put the power down and this resulted in a huge time loss so basically i was two to three tenths up and i just lost it in the end which was which was not the best i best scenario i would say but yeah this was that was the lap i hope you enjoyed it i hope i discovered something new for you and yeah that's all for me have a great week of racing and i'll catch you guys next time bye